Hey, this is your girl Bombshell with BAM. Welcome back to my channel. In this video that you're about to see, I'm showing you how I do this full face makeover. If you like this look, continue watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Again, this is your girl Bombshell. I'll catch you on my next video. So before any makeup application, you just want to make sure that your face is clear of all makeup, lashes, um, any products that could be on your face. You just make sure that it's clear from everything. Hey, my loves. Okay, next you want to make sure your hand is sanitized. You definitely want to sanitize your hand when you're working with your face or your client face. Then, even after you wash or clean your face, you definitely want to go in and add or use some wipes to remove any oil that may be left, a residue that could be left on your face. So I always go back in even with a wipe right before I do the makeup application. And again, this is a step that I do. I mean, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. It's just a step that I do. Make sure you clean around your eyes. Don't forget about the neck. You know, that's important. That is important as well. So make sure you take care of those places. Next, you want to use um, an oil-free moisturizer. And the product I'm using right now, and I'm only using a dime size of it. Um, it's from the brand that I'm marketing with Bombshell Cosmetic. So go in and add a dime size of moisturizer to your face. Um, make sure you get the important errors um, stay away from your eyes to a point where you don't want the products to get into your eyes. Definitely get your neck and um, pretty much do it in circular motion. So once the face is clean, moisturized, next the thing the next thing you want to do is go in with your brow, brow liner to enhance the brows. Um, the one I'm using now is from Bombshell Cosmetic. It's a waterproof liner with a spooty brush on the end. You pretty much just go in and groom your brows a little bit. Um, next, you wanna go in and pretty much shape your brows. As you can see, I'm doing light strokes. Um, you definitely want to be heavy handed doing this. So do light strokes. That way you pretty much can go back in and fill in afterwards. So definitely do light strokes for that. And you just take the same liner and just basically fill in. Next, what you want to do is go in and use that same liner on the opposite side with the spoolie brush and go in and blend that out.
Next, I'm using a brow palette. And this palette got three different shades in. I'm just taking a brush and I'm going with the darker shade first. And I'm just adding some shadow to my brows to darken them a little. Again, if you this is a step, this is a preference step. You don't have to do this if you don't like, but it's all about what you like. And I like my brows to be a little darker. Next, I'm going in with a with the medium light color, and I'm adding that in the front of my brows to kind of blend it out because you you definitely want your brows to look as natural as possible. So you add the lighter shade to the beginning. Then you go back in and use your brush, spooty brush to blend it out as well. And the palette can be used on, or could be found online. Next, I'm using the color of my skin tone foundation to highlight underneath my brow bone. And again, a lot of people use concealer. I also use concealer as well, but again, it's based on the makeup application, application that I'm trying to achieve as far as what product I will be using or the product I'm using. So to give it a little bit more natural look, I decided to use foundation, liquid foundation, the color of my skin to give it a good blend. Just pretty much get your angle brush and go in and sculpt it out. Next, just get a flat concealer brush to bring that color on down a little bit more and as well to blend out and to clean up any other errors. And I like to use either concealer or foundation to help um, with my eyeshadow application. So I'm just pretty much just going in right now and prepping my eyes for the eyeshadow application. So next I'm going with um, a shade a little bit lighter than my skin tone. I mean, the little shade the same as my skin tone. The first shade was a little lighter than my skin tone, sorry. And this shade is exactly my skin tone. So I'm going in with a shade that is my skin tone. I always, always go with a shade that's your skin tone on the top of your brows. And when you're doing Underneath the brow bones, you can go to one shade lighter than your skin tone, if that makes sense. I apologize, y'all, but yes. So, they give you a natural look. Um, so, as you can see, I'm using two liquid foundation from Bombshell Cosmetic to fill in or to highlight my brows and basically now what you're doing just going in to clean it up and to make them chic so yeah I'm loving that see the difference between the brows I mean I didn't have to do too much work 
then you would take your concealer brush, the one I was using before. I don't add any more products to that. I just take my brush, whatever product is left on there, I just take it and blend, blend my brows in, inward. So yes, that's the before and that's the after. Now the next thing I'm using is a little setting powder. And I do this because again, anytime you use any liquid, you want to set it with a powder. So that's what I'm about to do now. If I can find my, I found it, okay. Yeah, so I'm setting the foundation, the liquid foundation that I just put on my eyes by using a setting powder. And again, I'm prepping my eyes for the eyeshadow application. And this is the finished look for the brows. So this is the finished look for both brows. And as you can see, the enhancement is real. Again, I like my brows dark, so this is me. So now I'm about to use the ColourPop palette to do the eyeshadow application. And the first color that I will be using will be called, it's called Hooky. Okay, where's my brush? Hmm. Okay. So yes, I will use Hooky to let me find a fluffy brush. Okay. So yes, I will be using Hooky to go inside the crease area and I will be using the a technique that I'll call the windshield technique because you're going back and forth like the windshield wipes and you're going back and forth and back and forth and then you blend it by using circular motion. So I'm blending and applying at the same time, which make your application go faster. Next, I'll be using the color Realness. And I will also be adding that to the crease area. Now I'm gonna use my blending brush. So pretty much I'm doing the same technique but with a different shade. Using the windshield white type of technique that I call it. And you going back and forth as well as blending in a circular motion. And you will pretty much do this all the way across your crease. So yeah, keep blending by doing circular motion. Next color will be Reckless. And I will just add Reckless to the outer crease. It's a little bit darker, almost like a burgundy color. And I will add that to the outer crease. And I will blend up into the crease area without taking it all the way over. So yes, I will continue to blend that in circular motion till I get the desired look. And yes, sometimes you have to add more to it, but hey, that's what you do. And again, you just blend upward 
until into the crease. I'm gonna go back with the same color, the first color, which is the hooky, and add it back below my brow brow bone. All because when you're blending, sometimes you will remove the previous eyeshadow color, and that's natural. So you just go back and add the same color back to it. Now I'm just applying that realist to the lid. And I just want to bring it over a little bit more onto the lid. So yeah, I'm just pretty much patting that on. Any time that you don't want to remove makeup, you pretty much go in and pat or tap or whichever terminolo terminology that you want to use. But um, you pretty much just pat that on. So yeah, so moving along next, I'm going with a a medium color or almost light color concealer. I think I picked this up at the hair show a while back, but yeah, and I'm pretty much just going in to cut out the crease for the cut crease look. Um. You just pretty much go in and <clears throat> you can freelance the desired space where you want the cut crease to start and stop. Yeah, I apologize that um, I'm not all the way in the camera, but yeah. But yeah, you pretty much just go in and I tend to do it halfway cross. Um, and I pretty much just pat that on. You don't want to be too thick, but then you don't want to be not thick enough. So, again, just pat it on. Because by patting it, you're applying it and not removing it. So go in and slowly pat that onto your eyelid. And you will continue to do this, do so until you got all the error covered that you want to add the glitter. Next, I will be using the Intense Eyeshadow from Bombshell Cosmetic. Um, this can be used with or without concealer. I think I'm going to need a bigger brush for that. Oh, yeah. So, again, this intense eyeshadow, it is very pigment. You want to go in. Although the camera is not showing no justice for this, but in person, it is very or highly pigment. And you want to go in and intensify that cut crease with this intense eyeshadow. And by doing so, you just want to pat this on. You just want to continue to pat until you cover all of the concealer. So yes, again, this can be used with or without concealer. And I do have a video that I have up showing how intense this is with that concealer. So yeah, that's the look. A 
loving it. So this is one of my favorite colors, or should I say product, because this product can be used not as an, just as an eyeshadow, but also as a highlighter for their cheeks. Uh, right now, I'm taking this color and I'm applying it to my lower bra bone to give it a little lift. And next, I will go in and blend that. And you definitely want to blend that because you definitely don't want no harsh lines. Again, the makeup application is all about blending. So now I'm going in with a bigger fluffy fluffy blending brush to go in and do the little the job a little quicker. So yes, I'm just going in and and being careful not to blend too far down to add the dark shades into the light. So yes, I'm just basic blending in circular motion and that pretty much it. Yeah, I love that. Um, it give you a little eye lift, if I have to say so myself. So now what I'm doing is using the glitter from Bombshell Cosmetic, and this is like an orange color. I'm taking a brush. I'm using that to apply on top of the intense eyeshadow. And y'all, when you have what I call a background, which is the intense shadow is the background of this color, um, it don't take much product to add on to make it spark, to make it pop. And as you see, it didn't take much just to add, to get a little sparkle to it. Um, and again, that background, which is the intense eyeshadow, um, it does enough, but again, I want to add a little, add a little shimmering, a little spark or, you know, spark to this, just to highlight it a little. Again, this is the way I do things. Uh, you don't have to do it my way but it would definitely stand out. So yes, I'm so in love with the glitter that come with Bombshell Cosmetic. So check it out. Again, it just give that makeup eyeshadow application that pop. Next, I'm going in with a liquid eyeliner. I like to apply liquid eyeliner to my lid right before I do the lash application. And I like to pull back my skin or stretch my skin towards my hairline when I'm applying the liquid eyeliner. And the reason I like to do that is because it allowed me to have better control at how I apply the liquid eyeliner. So as you can see, I kind of do it in sections. I just don't take the liquid eyeliner and go all the way across with one little wipe. I kind of do it in sections. So as you can see, uh, I pull back the liner, my skin, and then I apply the liquid eyeliner to it, like so. And again, I continue to do this until I get the desired look that I'm trying to achieve. And I'm trying to wing this out a little, not too much, but just a little. Again, I do this right before I apply my lashes. So this, by doing this, it gives your brow or your lash application a natural look. 
So I'll do the same thing with the other eye as well. Okay, this is the fun part. Now I'm using my Rosamink lashes and they're called Patient. Um, basically what I do is remove the lashes. Then I apply lash glue to the lashes. Next, you want to go in and, and this is just a method that I have always been using and it pretty much worked good for me. Just the same way I do my liquid liner, I do my lash application the same way. Once I add the glue, I stretch my skin back towards my hairline and I apply the lashes. Again, this gives me more control. And sometimes you have to make sure you get it right. But overall, I have control by doing it this way. Yeah, I apologize again that I'm not completely in the viewing of the camera, but it's so hard when you're trying to video and apply lashes at the same time. So again, I apologize. But yes, you just continue to do so without poking yourself in the eye and get close to the lash line as possible. And once you do that, it's Set on there like a glove. And you just pretty much go from there. Again, you can put it back and you can see that it blend right in where it looked more natural. Next, I'm going in with some mascara. Now, I don't do this with every makeup application. Again, I try to keep as less products off my lashes because these are mink lashes. So again, uh, I'm just using the mascara just to blend my natural lashes with the mink lashes. You definitely don't want to go in and add a lot of products because you want to be able to use these lashes a lot of time. Next, I will be using a NYX white liner to apply to my waterline. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to open up my eyes. Because of the colors are very warm and vibrant, I want to, you know, definitely make my eyes pop or look more open. And that's the, why, and that's the reason why I'm using the white liner. And basically, I just use that back and forth. And that just helped to make my makeup application look more open and not too dark. You see? Going back to my ColourPop palette, I'm using the color reckless again to go underneath my waterline or my lower lid and I'm basically just using that to add a little dimension to my eyes where you know of course the white line is more bold uh, so I'm just trying to add a little dimension to the lower lid or lower uh, waterline so it can kind of blend together and I'm pretty much taking that color for from one end to the opposite end 
using it, not applying a lot. Then I'm going back and using the uh, realist to do the same thing right underneath the, the last color. And again, this just help blending so your application can look more natural. It don't look like um, a white liner just been thrown underneath your eyes. And this is my preference. You can do this before or you can do this after your foundation application as well. So yeah, I love it. Next, I will be going in with the Bombshell Full Cover Concealer that I will be using. I apply a little bit on my on the back of my hand. Then I will take a concealer brush and I will apply it to my face. Now I have freckles and a lot of time I will use concealer to cover those and there are time when I will not, but with this makeup application, I like to have those freckles covered. Be very careful around your eye when you just apply the eyeshadow because you definitely, definitely don't want to mess that up. So kind of be careful by patting around the eyes. This found this concealer is great for covering dark circles, blemishes, um, other dark marks on your face. It can be worn underneath your foundation as well as on top of your foundation. Um, this is a more more of an orange tone, but again, this can be worn on top because it blends so well. And you can also wear this foundation or this concealer without foundation. And as you can see, I just pretty much went in and highlighted or covered the dark spots around my side of my face. But yes, it's it will cover pretty much almost anything. And again, I'm not too much blending because I'm going back with my foundation on top. Well, as you can see the difference so far. Next, I'm going back in with those two liquid foundation I was using for my brows, the dark shade and one shade lighter than my skin. Um, I apply both of those to the back of my hand. I blend those well using a wooden stick. And the reason why I do this too, because it gives me that natural blend without having to do a lot of work. When you have been doing this as long as I have, you kind of know what work best. So by applying both of those the, the lighter shade and the shade of my skin together that give me that shade that I'm looking for. Um, and I pretty much take my flat brush and I just go in and blend that uh, onto my face, um, or down on my neckline, all the way around. Use constant, continue to blend. And again, I'm doing it a little faster because I'm in a rush. I got to go. But um, again, um, next you just take a concealer brush and pretty much pat that foundation on just like you did your concealer so that it don't interfere with your eyeshadow. And you want to pat that on lightly. Again, the eyes are sensitive, so... Be careful. And you will do the same with both eyes. So 
So, yes, you continue doing the same thing with both eyes. And you continue to blend. Blend, blend, blend. Again, I'm just using the concealer brush just to apply the foundation on top so that it don't really get onto my white headpiece. But yes, you will um, continue to blend that concealer with the foundation. And as you can see, it gives me that natural look where you don't have to go in and add layers and layers of foundation. And as you see that the amount that I applied to my hand went a long way. So again, it's all about learning and saving product as you go. You don't want to waste your products. So yes. So now what I'm about to use is the same setting powder that I used before on my lids. I did use my sponge to blend off camera because again, this video is a little long. So I tried to save some time by using my sponge to blend my foundation off camera. But here I'm going back in to use the sitting HD sitting powder by Bombshell Cosmetic to set my foundation. Anytime that you're using any liquid, you must set it with a powder. So this is what I'm doing. And this is the HD, which is great for videos and movies, or if you're doing TV or what have you, but it's great for that. And it just pat it into your skin. Don't rub it, just pat it pat it into your skin so yes it will soak up any loose liquid so yes next I'm going in with my Morphe palette to contour just a little not too much again um, I'm just wanting to add a little definition and so I'm not intensify this contour as much as I have on some of my other videos and the reason being is I again I want to focus me more on the eyes than anything so yeah I basically just go around my hairline and build a shadow by using a dark shade and and that's the key to using the correct foundation in the start you can go in and use a couple shade darker contour to actually highlight or make your foundation be the highlight if that makes sense again i'm just blending and I'm blending in an upward position. Um, position. Here I'm going around the hairline again, and just building shadows so that my foundation will be the highlight. Just blend up in an upward position. Oops! I put a little too much. But again, to highlight uh, the contour of the neckline is a good technique if you got a little, what old people call a double chin or something like that. I have a little double chin, so I like to add a shadow underneath my chin to kind of camouflage that. And by doing that, you use a darker color, which will take the focus off of that. So yeah, I that's the purpose of doing that. Um, again.
again, and I just kind of blend downward into the neckline so it can look more natural. But you definitely don't want to go two shade darker when you're doing this. And then I go back in with my setting powder to just set that. Next, I'm using that same palette to contour my nose. And this is a step. It's not something that I do all the time. But however, uh, I'm doing it with this makeup application. Um, you pretty much just start where your brow bones are and um, you just blend out towards the tip of your nose. And by doing this, you you making it narrow your nose with using a darker shade of powder. So again, I'm just using this to to narrow my nose. I don't do this with all application. However, you know, um, just depend on what makeup application I'm looking for. Then I will blend this out. I don't do it heavily. Again, um, just add a little definition. Next, I'm about to use um, a highlighter to highlight my cheekbones. Um, and I pretty much just apply that to the cheek area and I blend in a circular motion in the upper position going towards the hairline. And I just do that uh, right above the contouring that I just did. And I just pretty much blend, blend, blend. And again, um, my focus are my eyes, so I don't want to be overdoing it by overpowering my highlight. I'm just adding a little bit more sparkle from MAC, and I'm tapping that on to give me to give a little shimmery, but again, uh, the eyes or my focus. I just don't want to be overpowering it. And I would add just a tip to my nose and kind of blend upward and also to my cubit bone above my lips um, just to highlight those areas as well. Next, I will take my fan brush and I will just pretty much blend in a circular motion towards the hairline and I continue to blend for a more natural look. And again, my highlights is not the focus. So I just wanted to look, I'll give you that shimmer if the light catches it. And I pretty much do the same thing with the other areas that I applied the highlight. So yeah, just blending, blending, blending. So next I'm going in with the Bombshell Cosmetic Lipstick. And this is like a natural bone color. I'm so in love with this color. Um, it can be worn for weddings, um, pretty much any everyday look. Um, so yeah, I'm going in with that. Next I'm ch chasing it with the Bombshell Lip Gloss. I'm definitely adding more to the top lips um, because when I once I rub it in, I want it to blend all the way around with full lips. So yes, loving this color with those two shades together. So now I'm about to go, I'm about to use that ColourPop palette again the color hooky to go underneath my lid um, just to brighten that up a little again um, and this is the same color I use on top uh, I'm just using this underneath as well underneath the other two shades I applied and again I'm just blending and applying at the same time. So 
So as you can see here, I'm um, adding, and if you notice the light, uh, the light for my ring light going in and out, um, and actually making my color look different shades as, as it do that. Next, I'm adding the same mascara to the bottom lashes, the bo bottom lashes, yes. Um, again, I'm just applying a little. My focus is not the bottom lashes. Um, again, I'm just uh, adding a little depth to the bottom lashes to make them stand out just a little, but not as much because it's all about the mink. Rose mink, that is. So, yes, I'm just um, adding some mascara to the bottom lashes. So, yes. So now what I'm about to do is add, and as you can see, this is the finished look. The intense for the eyeshadow it is a glam look. This is a, a look that you can stop and get a lot of attention. Again, I'm using my Owl Not A Spray. Yeah, I'm just spraying this almost anywhere. But yeah, I'm spraying the Owl Not A from Urban Decay to set my makeup. So yes, this is the finished look, y'all, um, of the makeup application by Bombshell, which is me. And I am so loving it. Bye, y'all. So this is the final look. And the wig that I'm wearing is from Shot With Bound. So I'm definitely loving this look. I'm loving this makeup application. So yeah, it's a win-win-win. This is another look from the same makeup application, but this particular time I got the wig pulled away from the face. But yes, you definitely can rock this any kind of way you want to, up or down. And the makeup application is a win for this look. And if you love this high bun, of course, the makeup is popping. You see the highlight on my cheeks. It gives you just enough. And the bun for this wig, which is called Jessie from Shot With Pound, is the bomb. So, y'all, thanks again. And if you haven't have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And again, I will see y'all in my next video. This is your girl, Bombshell. Thank you for watching.